The goal of this video is to understand the, logis the logistical aspects as an RV, camper, trailer, rig attendant. Please ensure patrons park in a linear fashion back to back as close as possible, considering that they may need, need space to egress if they need to depart. It is recommended to unhitch, but not required. Parking is influenced by the slope of the camping area. The flattest area is in lane number two and number three. Rigs over 35 feet are designated to park in lanes two and three, and rigs less than 35 feet are designated to park in lanes one and four. Here are the lanes that we have designated. Lane one is right here, lane two is here, lane three is right here, and lane four is right here. We are leaving this open so that people can come in or people who are leaving are able to access um, to get out. We would like to leave these open. These are the very last trailers to park, if possible, please. It does matter the way individuals pull into their camping spots because the doors to their home, quote unquote, need to face the inside of the camping area. So I've gone ahead and designated this map as north, south, east, and west. For lanes one and three, they can just pull in. So for lanes one and for lanes three, sorry, they need, can just pull in because the doors to their campers need to face on the inside. So in campers, the driver's side is on the opposite area of the door. So for lanes one and lanes three, they can just go ahead, pull in and head north and park. For lanes two and four, they have to loop around. So for example, if they want to park in lane, if you're making them park in lane two right here so that the doors face the inside of the camping area, they have to go in this way all the way to the end, head north, loop around, and then go ahead and then head south so that their um, doors are facing the inside. If you're making them park in lane four, what you'll need to do is they'll head down this way They'll go ahead and go north and take, well, actually take a left and go north down this way and then loop around to access lane four. So therefore they will head south in this direction, which means that their door uh, to their camper or rig will be facing the inside of the camping area. The $175, which are prepaid already, includes one truck. Ensure you attach a bracelet to the windshield wiper. These bracelets may be replaced by volunteers with parking stickers later on. This is the check-in list. Here you have, sorry about that, trying to move this thing out of the way. So here you have the customer's name and we've been kind of checking them off as they come in, the rig info, and the size of the rig is designated by the dots on here. So these are all greater than 35 feet. Make sure you uh, send those people in the middle of the uh, camping area. There are a total of about 30 um, campers that are coming. This is, um, the last time this was requisitioned was at eight o'clock this morning. And this is the only copy, please don't throw it away. And the last thing that I have to tell you is, I think that's, I think that's it. All right, thank you so much for volunteering. You guys, oh, I know what I was gonna say. So these individuals with the dash, like Jennifer, Chris, um, uh, Russ and McCloskey, as I think you pronounce the last name, they can actually park over here. So Hancock is already checked in. He's EMS. So those individuals with the dashes, like I had mentioned before, see here's Hancock, that I've mentioned before, can go over here and park with him. And so the way that I've been hearing these bracelets once they change them into stickers is I've just been looping it through the windshield wiper over here underneath and then attaching it this way and then writing if it's with the rig or if they've paid Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. And then I just kind of write my name there so people know who it is. Okay, thank you.